right, so today I'm going to be showing you how to take an image like this and do the out of bounds effect in Photoshop and make it look like a picture like this. So basically you just want to make it look like it's jumping out of a small piece of paper. So first of all, we just have to open up Photoshop using CS5. And we're going to go to File, Open. We're going to find our picture that we're going to do the effect on. And in your case, this won't come up, but for some reason, mine keeps on having these uh, blue bars come up, which are movable. So I just move them out of the page. I don't know why they come up. I might have something turned on in the settings, but that will not happen for you. So next up, we want to come over to our lock over here. We just want to take it and just want to drag it down to the trash. Now this uh, layer is unlocked. Now we want to create a new layer. So this is going to be our background picture as if as you can see from right here it's just the color at the background so you can choose any two colors you want or any one color that you want and have it like that so what I'm going to do is just hit the little eye button which turns off the picture of the truck and I'm just going to have this blank layer here so I'm going to choose two colors I'm going to choose a darker green and then for my other color, I'm going to choose a lighter green. So that's, then I just want to use the gradient tool, which is found right here. If you don't see it, it might be because the paint bucket's there. So find the paint bucket or the gradient tool, hold your mouse down, and then click the gradient tool. So now we just want to drag from the bottom left corner to the top right corner. And there's our background. Now it's going to switch back to the mouse. And then we can just click the eye again and turn the truck on. But see, even though it's now there, you can't see it because this layer is on top. So just want to click and hold and drag it underneath. So to make the paper, we want to go over here to the selection tool. And we just want to make a rectangle about halfway through the page. So about that big. Next thing we want to do is go up to um, select and transformation transform selection sorry so I'm gonna right click and hit perspective so this gives it the 3d effect that it's actually like a 3d image so we just want to grab on these corners and bring it in as a and as you can see it also brings in the opposite corner like that and then we can take the bottom one and make them both wider then we want to make sure that we're on the truck layer and not the background layer or else when we click the mask button it will not do anything so now that we have selected the truck layer oh yes sorry you have to hit uh, enter which then applies that selection and then you can click the truck layer and if you just go down to the mask tool right here now we have this next up what we want to do is just want to right click on that layer so I'm going to hit duplicate layer and then you can name it if you want to or just keep it the same. Click OK. Then we want to right click on the mask and hit delete layer mask on the duplicate picture. So now we're back to where we started again. This time we want to go to the selection tool and we just want to select most of the truck. We don't have to do the whole thing because the bottom half of the truck is there from the first part we did it but we just want to make sure that we get the at least the top half of the truck so that when the two go together you just see one truck not two different separated pieces okay so now around some of the edges they aren't perfect so just want to fool around with that and see like right here where it's too high if you just hold down the alt button then the plus in the in the middle of the circle becomes a minus and then it brings it in instead so we can just do that a little bit Try to make it as smooth as we can, make sure we have everything um, at the back here. So I'm just doing this really quick. Just make sure we have enough just to be safe. I'm just going to stick with that part of the tire because we still have the bottom half of another picture. And then, oh, see, it always gets stuck on this one piece of paint that's in the truck. So we just want to click plus on there just to add it to the top of the bed. And then we just want to go to edit, no, 
um, select, modify, and then feather. And then you just want to choose one or two pixels. And then that just uh, makes the selection tool a bit smoother on the edges around the truck. And then we just want to click the mask button again on this. So there, now we have the jumping out 3D effect of the truck. Next, what we want to do is we want to create another layer. And now that we have the new layer selected, we want to hold down the command <coughs> or control button and click on the first rectangle perspective uh, selection that we did. So then we have that up again. And then we just want to go up to edit, stroke, and this is going to add the border to the piece of paper that we have. So depending on the resolution of your picture, um, you'll want to change the width. But for this one, 10 pixels is big enough. And then the color, just going to choose white and make sure that it's on inside. Click OK. There, now we have our little like border around our picture. But the problem here is, is that now it's going through the truck. So since we work in layers in Photoshop, we can just drag this down underneath that one and there now it looks like it goes behind it now the next step is you want to take all three layers hold down control or command if you're on a PC or a Mac and just select the three right click and hit merge layers we have to do this so that in the next step it moves all the layers and affects all the layers instead of just affecting one so then we want to go to We want to go to Edit and Free Transform. Then we just want to go right click and warp. Now that we have the warp, we can make it look like the page, like it's a piece of paper and it's 3D by pulling up the ends. And then if we just hit enter off of that, there, now you can see how it kind of looks like a piece of paper. I'm going to just warp that a little bit more. So just bring up the corners a little bit more just to make it look a little bit more warped like a piece of paper would. We want to try just to stick to these two or else the other ones will start to mess it up. Now when we made our first selection we could have made it so all this tire is in the picture like I believe I did in this one. So you see more of the tire and the ground so that's a better one but since I'm just doing a quick one here to show you guys how to do it then that's all I have to do. So I just hit enter again. Here's my picture now. To sell the effect a little bit better, we just want to create another layer. And <coughs> we just want to go over to our brush, choose just uh, just kind of like one of these fuzzier ones. She, uh, select your size. And then we just want to close that. And we want to make our color black. So you can click this here, which returns it to the normal black and white like it comes. And then we can just, oh, what you have to do first is you have to deselect with, you have to deselect uh, what you have selected with the select tool. Ugh. So you just want to hit Command or Control D, and then it gets rid of the little running ants. And then now we can, We can, the layer has to be moved to the middle and then now we can just go here you want to go thicker to thinner and then back out to thicker again now this kind of looks like it has a shadow so then we can just change the opacity to about 60% 60 to 70% see I'm just changing it over here you can drag the slider or you can just type it in and then that creates the shadow effect that you have. So that is basically all you have to do to create the Photoshop out of bounds effect. Thanks.